Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am planning in my Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner for the week of Monday, November 11th through Sunday the 17th. Now I want to start this video off with a really big confession. I did not use my Petite Daily last week. As you can see, it is completely empty. I did not even set it up or make a video. And the week before that, I put everything in and then I didn't use it at all. And the reason why I really didn't do anything past pretty much November 1st is I just, I was starting to get overwhelmed. So my my Erin Condren hourly planner, this planner, my goal setting planners, everything was just starting to get overwhelmed and I kind of shut down a little bit. And you know what? That's okay. I've given myself a little grace and forgiveness on that. And this week I've got a lot going on and I had to make a choice to continue to shut down and hope that it got completed or to get back into the planning and hope that I can at least catch up a bit. And I'm deciding to go with catching up and planning and it's a struggle because you know what? Sometimes we just have bad days and bad weeks and last week was mine. And so I'm gonna start in this. I have no idea where I'm gonna go with it. I'm probably gonna continue putting the hours in here. I really like having that. I probably won't be putting a huge amount of daily chores. I am so far behind on everything in my life from planner videos to um, household chores to homeschooling. All of our stuff has kind of fallen to the wayside. I've been able to keep up with my hourly and with some Instagram photos, but other than that, I am I am playing catch up. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think this week is going to be very basic. My hourly planner is just highlighters and pen, and I think this week in my petite will be the same. It will be mostly pen with some highlighters. Now I've used a mint color in my hourly planner, so I've pulled that over, but this blue mild liner looks really close to the blues of the November spread, and since this is a colorful planner, um, and these do coordinate very nicely together, I think I'm gonna try to alternate them and try to make it a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, get started. No idea where it's gonna go, but when I am finished, I will come back and explain everything that I've done.
Okay, so this is my setup for the week, and it is really basic, and I think that's my style anyways. I didn't even use stickers for check boxes. I just left a little space on the side, which this one already has space on the side anyways, but I left space on the side so I can check things off as I go. I used the mild liner once to mark Veterans Day, which my husband and kids are off of work and school, and I don't schedule homeschool that day because it's too distracting with everybody home. So I, I've pretty much kept it very simple. I've got my morning routine written in, my home chores, which over here I already knew I was gonna have too many home chores, so I started filling them in on Monday, and we'll catch up, especially since my husband's home, he can help with the kids so I can really get caught up on anything I need to. And then I've got other things um, that need to be done on those particular days. So the Moxie Life launch is on Monday, and although I didn't put it in here, I know Disney Plus launch launches on Tuesday, so I'm gonna wanna make sure that that's all set up on our devices. And I kind of just kind of went through the whole week and did that all of that for every day. So I've got our appointments in the middle, my checklist on the sides, and space so I can check them off. Now, what I am anticipating that I will do throughout this week, oh, and then, of course, the weekend, I am actually gone for the weekend. So while I'm at my mom's house, she likes to take the kids for our walks and hikes and to help her take care of the animals and things. They, they've got a lot of animals. So... Um, I've put 15 minutes self-care for the two day full days that were there because I think that I will be able to to do that and I'm really excited for that and I know that she would be very helpful in that respect as well. So I've got that in there as well. But my anticipation for the week is to check off the things that are done. If they're not done, I plan on using one of the highlighters to highlight it so that you know, let's say I don't meal plan on Monday and I end up having to do it on Tuesday. I will highlight Mondays so that when I wake up on Tuesday and I look at this book, I can see, hey, look, this is what you haven't completed over here yet. Get this done first, then move over. And that is my goal for the week. I don't know how well it's going to work, but that is my hope. So I'm going to give that a try. But other than that, like I said, very simple, very straightforward. No stickers, just pen and paper. And I'm I'm really excited to see how it works. I was excited to see that I am halfway through the second uh, petite planner that I've ever used. So I've been really enjoying that. And that's pretty much it. I think for next week, I'm hoping that I will be all caught up in everything. I'll come back rested and rejuvenated for my mom's. And next week, I'm really just going to try to have fun with this instead of just pen and paper. I really want to have it, I don't know, decorate it like I did in the beginning of the month there. So we'll see how that turns out. But if you like this video, I hope you'll hit like. And if you would like to see more Plan With Me videos in my Petite Daily Planners or in my Erin Condren Hourly, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you tap that bell, that'll turn on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes out. And of course, for behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and what I'm working on right now, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.